one in eight men will be diagnosed with prostate cancer. In the United States alone, approximately 300,000 men were diagnosed with prostate cancer in 2024. There's different types. Some are less aggressive, some are more aggressive. And we try to match the appropriate treatment to the aggressiveness of the prostate cancer. One of the newer approaches is this era of focal therapy. This is the idea that you don't have to treat the entire prostate. Can we treat just the area that has the cancer? And this is where high intensity focused ultrasound, or HIFU for short, comes into play. It basically concentrates high frequency ultrasound waves into an area about the size of a grain of rice, and it causes that tissue to heat up and it destroys that tissue. And with HIFU, since we're not treating the entire prostate gland, just the area of cancer, the risk of erectile dysfunction is very low and the risk of having incontinence or leakage is also very low compared to surgery and radiation. The first time I met Vernon English was in the clinic. He had an elevated PSA and he was sent to me for workup and he had a intermediate risk, kind of like in the middle type of prostate cancer. We brought him and his family into the office. We discussed the options that were available to him. I'm an athlete. Um, I played football and baseball um, in college. After college, I played baseball in Puerto Rico for three and a half years. I've always been a strong one in the family. And to find out that I might have prostate cancer, was it hit me kind of hard. And um, he gave me the different methods of treating it. He mentioned um, a new technique that was just being utilized and I thought that I would be a, a great candidate for, uh, for this new method. So he underwent Typhu. It was a successful procedure. He did really well. He got to go home the same day. After the three weeks, everything was fine. I was back to work. I was up and about. No, I had no side effects at all. Loyola is a leader in prostate cancer care. We've been innovating in the detection of prostate cancer, offering various uh, cutting edge treatments for prostate cancer, and also survivorship. How do we take care of patients after they've had prostate cancer surgery or treatments? Going to the doctor on a regular basis, basically being proactive instead of reactive. You have to find out what's going on in your body. So the, the key to it is early detection. <laughs>